If you see a little accessibility man in the bottom corner of a website, that's an overlay. And they suck. They make accessibility worse, they don't protect you from lawsuits, and they don't do anything your browser can't already do. Here are seven reasons overlays suck. Number one, they don't fix accessibility issues. Overlays do not modify the underlying website code. This is important because their main selling point is also the main reason not to use them. You're not fixing the issue, you're masking it. Or at least trying to? You see, computers aren't yet smart enough to understand the nuances of web accessibility, so you can't automate the process entirely. You have to find and fix the problems at source. Don't try to use an ineffective band-aid. Number two, they don't protect you from accessibility lawsuits. Companies using overlays are still getting sued. In fact, more than 250 lawsuits were filed against companies using widgets or overlays on their websites in 2020. That number is increasing year on year, so can you afford to take the risk? Don't believe the hype and the claims about protection, you have to fix the problems at source. Number three, they can overwrite existing accessibility settings. People using assistive technologies typically customize their device settings to make browsing easier. Overlays ignore and even impede these settings, making for a much poorer experience. Number four, most users hate them. Overlays get in the way of giving people the best experience possible. Just listen to disability rights lawyer Haben Germa, or visit overlayfactsheet.com. Links in the description. Number five, they'll slow your website down. Are you proud of how fast your website loads? Not for long. Overlays will slow your website down because you're adding an unnecessary third-party script that takes time to load and do its thing. Google doesn't like slow loading pages, so you're risking your SEO. Number six, there's no agreed format. Overlays are all different, the way they look, the way they work, and the features they have. They have no consistency, which means they're unreliable and hard for users to find and use. Number seven, our devices already have most of these features. Making text bigger and smaller, using zoom, changing the size of your cursor. These can be done easily in your browser already. So ask yourself, what's the point of using an overlay? Accessibility overlays suck, don't use them. Make your website accessible and compliant by fixing the problems at source. It doesn't need to be difficult. To learn more, check out our bite-sized educational videos. Check out the links in the description for independent research into web accessibility overlays. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more accessibility resources.